Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your weekly for the 21st through the 27th of February. Oh my God, where did February go? <laughs> With that being said, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of my family. And if you're not a part of this family and you like astrology, you like tarot, and you like to have a good time, you might want to hit that subscribe button so you can be updated about what's going on. Another thing is if you have not been seeing my videos lately, you might want to put the little reminder bell on. I keep getting these messages are like, where have you been? I'm like, I've been right here, just here doing videos. Now, I haven't put out the monthlies yet, but they're coming, guys. We just keep getting hit here in Texas. So with that being said, yes, I live in Houston, Texas, so it has been a journey. I want to thank everybody for checking on me and my girls. Um, Texas, as you all have heard, has been hit really hard with a natural disaster. It seems like we're always getting hit. <laughs> um, I was, I just don't even know what to say. I am at a loss for words. We were spared. We went without electricity for over 24 hours. It was very cold, but we made it through. We had water the whole time. We are very blessed to have water. Um, many of our people here in the city do not. Um, and so my prayers go out to everybody who has... Um, been hit really hard by this. Uh, lots of my friends and um, of course my family in East Texas went two to three days without electricity um, and they don't have water. So keep us in your prayers and uh, lift us all up, please. All of Texas is needing this. So with that being said, let's jump into what's going on this week astrologically. So as we know on the 20th, okay, we are finally direct. Mercury has gone direct. For me, what I really feel like this Mercury retrograde taught me was like, what is going on behind the scenes, right? What is really going on behind the scenes? How can we help humanity? How can we help each other? And how are we moving forward or really speaking our truth? So for the next two weeks, you might have a little bit of things to reflect on, to look over and things of that nature. Now, on the 25th, Venus is entering into Pisces. It is exalted in Pisces. So relationships are going to be much smoother and much better. So if you want some good love and body rocking, knocking boots all night long, it might just be happening this week. Okay. Especially since a lot of us don't have electricity. Okay. <laughs> now, the 27th full moon, eight degrees of Virgo. Okay. So this is going to be huge. This is pivotal. Again, this, um, this energy coming in at eight degrees is, is really interesting because the last ones have all been at nine degrees like ending and this one is really about communicating and remember Virgo is ruled by Mercury all right so this is about communication also so we're going to jump into these reads they are going to be air earth fire and water general readings going into specifically with the signs okay now there will be an update to my channel on March I know it's only like a week away. Hopefully I can make it. There will be some new classes also being offered. And if you guys are interested in different kinds of videos, let me know. I've been thinking about either adding them to this channel or starting a new channel. Um, it's basically going to be about cleansing, clearing, candle work. Things that you can do for yourself to start bringing in more positive energy. And if those are things that you're interested in, be sure to leave those things in the comment. Things that you want me to research, things that you would like for me to explain. Um, I know egg clearing is one of the ones that have been getting a lot of attention. So I should be doing one of those pretty soon. And if you're interested in learning how to deal with the energy after a tarot read, you know, because everyone's always worried about what's going to happen afterwards. Once you get that information, how do you process it? Let me know. All right. So are you ready, air signs? Are you ready to do this? Whew. All right, air signs. It's time for your crystal. You have that of Zen sight. Look how pretty that is, right? It's a pretty little cluster. So this is the ability to clear and rebalance the lower three chakras. And it's often we're here where we get stuck with negative energies. These are cycles, repetitive things that keep happening. Well, Zen Sight promotes cooperation within and it gives us motivation. It alleviates feelings of depression and lethargy. Okay, I'm going to say Legarthy. Legarthy. <laughs> Anyways, it helps us to come to terms with life and embrace things more joyfully. 
Now, Zen sign is very revitalizing for hair and skin and working with our sexual hormones. Grrr, hello, baby. <laughs> it gives us confidence, too, to embrace life joyfully. Now, on a spiritual meaning, this is telling you that it can indicate an influx of energy is on your way. All right. Life. Um, particularly relations with others will seem brighter, lighter, and more energized. That's that Venusian energy coming through for you, too. Now, as far as your Akashic coming through, you have the birth card coming in. New things are on the horizon for you. It might be birthing relationships, birthing things that work, birthing ideas. I know I'm not an air sign, but I'm over here birthing all kinds of ideas. And my journal's going crazy. So make sure you're writing those things down because sometimes you'll have a great idea and you won't capture it. And since we have some beautiful energy with Mercury going on, you might get an idea that you need to go back and revisit. So I decided to do something different also. The full moon is what came out from the seeds of Shakti for you. And this is to cleanse and illuminate your body, mind, and soul. Some of you might be thinking about Reiki. Um, that came up for me also when I was looking at this. But it's time for you to birth some new um, spiritual practices for yourself so that you can start clearing and allowing this energy to come in. Some of y'all have been thinking about children, um, doing things more with children. That's going to be very important. And since the number four is on top of you on that card, we're going to talk a little bit about the fourth house. So the fourth house is your home, your property, your family, your parents, your ancestors, your roots. Um, things of that nature, things like that are coming to the forefront for you. And so you might be thinking about expanding the home, doing more things with the family, things like that, all right? So with the full moon coming this um, end of the week, you might also look into some rituals that you might wanna do. I'll be sure to add some in the full moon video, which I'll probably have to shoot this weekend too. <laughs> so let's cut the deck. So we have the sun reverse. Some of y'all's health might be feeling a little bit down and it's gonna be important to start harnessing this energy of fiery energy. Red, working with that root chakra, getting grounded, solar plexus, your stomach issues might be flaring up right now. Confidence might be something going on. So when I see this carob come through, the carob for me is a very important, this is like an archangel, okay? And the carobs were meant to, con uh, to protect the four corners in ancient Babylon, okay? And y'all, I apologize. I have heartburn like crazy right now because I'm very stressed with everything that's going on. So if y'all see me a little nervous or if I get emotional or whatever, it's just a lot going on over here. Not like in my home. My home is okay, but I can feel collective energy. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. I think we are. So I got the three for you guys. I kind of feel like there's some new and exciting things coming in for you. This is going to be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, mm, Aquarius. I see that you're doing a lot better this week. <laughs> you're not hoeing around. <laughs> All right, bottom of the deck, we have Genesis. This energy is the trump card. This is about starting over, starting something new. In the beginning, the air signs decided to what? What are you wanting to create? What do you want to make new in your life? What are you birthing? Remember, that was your card. So, my ears keep ringing. Um, I have something with the King of Cups reverse. So some of y'all might be dealing with a water sign, male water sign, who is kind of throwing you off balance. Since he is reversed, I feel like it, it feels like an emotional manipulation could possibly be happening. So it's time to get out of the cycle. It's time to break the cycle. All right. And stop carrying everybody's burdens because you have the you have the donkey here and that's the beast of burdens. All right. So Lamatsu is coming through and he's saying, hey, we got to drop this. We got to move forward. Two princes in your read, so I'm going to tell you there's conflicting um, communication going on. There's also this idea of somebody might be lying to you. Okay, they are. Any <laughs> Anyways, watch the communication, okay? You need to speak, which, speak your mind. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is showing up, so I feel like it's going to be about your paper this week. Pay attention to that. And look, there's a blessing with the Prince of Cups. There could be a blessing in the offer coming. And there is, again, another angelic energy coming through with unconditional love and kindness. Okay. Which deck are we going to clarify with? Huh? We're going to go with Santa Muerte for you guys. Okay. 
All right, a Gemini. Yeah, 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 Gemini. What you got going on? Well, Gemini, we're starting off the week feeling like a badookie, okay? You're just like, damn it, could it get any worse? I feel stabbed in the back. Who's talking all this mess about me? But this could also be about literally your back freaking hurting, okay? You've been doing a lot of manual labor. Maybe you picked something up the wrong way. Now, because nobody's helping you do what you need to do, the Six of Pentacles is I kind of feel like you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And the reason why is because we're not trusting our intuition as we move forward. Take a step back this week. So like when I look at this, it, it's like take a step back and really look at what's going on. What's really going on for you, okay? <sighs> Heartache. And I'm going to say some of y'all are dealing with a third party situation or you are the third party. <laughs> okay. We're gonna be right. Okay, be careful around the full moon because full moons will be exposing. Three of swords with the five of cups. We are in our feelings. Nothing more than feelings. We're, we're, we're in our head. And I love the imagery on this deck. Look at this. All in your head. All in the emotions. There's so much going on in this card. And his eyes are hearts. So I do feel like there's something about being really upset about what's going on. Six of Pentacles, you have a lot coming in. So I'm going to roll this dice and see. We said the first card. Let's get another energy and the third card. Okay. So we want help. Fire sign wants to come through and help. Okay, and they're offering love or they're offering compassion. And this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friendship coming to the rescue. Like, I see you hurting or the, the fire sign that you think hurt you is coming through and saying, look, no, 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 let's talk about it. All right. But what I'm really picking up here is what you're looking for. You need to go somewhere else and get it because where you're looking, it's not coming. And you keep wanting to go back to it. Okay, because that's that high priestess energy. Reverse. There's that King of Cups. Different deck. I'm telling you, there's something about a water sign who's telling you everything is all right and it's not all right. You're lost in the woods. You're lost in the woods because you're believing this individual who keeps saying, hey, it's all good. We're okay. Everything's fine. And it's not okay. It's not fine. And you're, st you know, you can't see the trees because you're stuck in the woods. You can't find a solution because you're stuck in the problem. And that happens quite often, right? And so you might be, this might be an emotional week. Friendships might be something to really pull on, right? Let's see what this um, King of Cups has for you. What's up with this King? Oh, Lord Jesus. My shuffling skills, I'm all nervous today, okay? LVR. This is really El Borracho, okay? And he's drinking. I want to say there is somebody who has an issue with drinking, okay? And they like to see life a different way in a different perspective. Virtual reality. But I feel like since the king is reversed, that in the high priestess is reversed, you almost like don't want to see things for what they really are. Or you're dealing with an individual who's not seeing things for what they really are. And that makes it very, very difficult for you to move forward. So let's see what this Prince of Wands wants you to know. They want you to stop, collaborate, and listen. What? Ice is back with a brand new edition. No, stop. Stop the bullshit. Stop it, Gemini. Stop, stop, stop. And the only person, and it comes down to a three, okay? So whatever you're doing, take a step back. Excuse me, my heartburn. Hold on. And there is a situation, I just saw the dragonfly on the Ace of Cups. There is a situation that's going to transform, it's going to metamorphosize, it's going to change, it's going to, it's going to show you your true colors. Because the thing about a dragonfly is that the dragonfly change, it does not care. It's going to show you its brightness. And it's like you need to see somebody for who they really, really are. I get a strong water sign, somebody who keeps drinking a lot. You also have the double five, LVR as a five. So there has to be a change. And then the hand is giving you the high five. So high five to that situation and let's move forward. Let's see what is the other guidance we have coming in for them. Oh, Lord. I think this is going to be a week that meditation is going to be really good for you. 
it's time to call in the angels of love. And I feel like loving yourself because there is a broken heart, okay? And just because a broken heart is showing up doesn't mean that this whole week is shot to shit, okay? It's not. It's how you can move through this energy. How can you move forward? What needs to be done? Let's go to the rebel deck when it comes to this situation with the king of cups. What do we have? King of cups says, some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues F it up. You're calling in love, but you're caught in a situation. And this is for some and not for all. You're caught in a situation where you keep allowing someone to call you into the third party situation ship. If you want it to end, put a stop to it. Stop engaging. It's that simple. Oh, but you don't understand. And no, I do understand because I've been in that situation. If you want it to stop, you have to stop yourself. You have to have control and imagine solutions. Imagine something different. Part of quantum jumping and part of doing things to make things happen, right, is sitting in the energy and believing that it already has and this is giving you the energy the longer you can hold it the longer you can see it and the longer you can believe it the more energy can happen and there's a lot of um, sleep meditations that you can do for quantum jumping okay that's really interesting energy you have coming through where do the animal cards go what kind of animal energy does gemini need gemini hi gemini number five the shark Lead a powerful, peaceful warrior. You need to understand that a shark wakes up every day being a what? A motherfucking shark, okay? You need to be who you are at all times, Gemini. Gemini, you are quick-witted. You are ready for responses. You ain't got no time for nobody else. You're moving forward, okay? But the thing is, in order to get out of that depressive state, and if you're struggling with depression, this is a great time to get therapy, okay? If you need to process something, process it. Because this is a situation that seems to be coming back and coming back. And it's about being like a shark, having that nose that can smell what's good for you and what's not. Because your intuition is off over here. Because you're coming out reversed. Let's look at that high priestess real quick. High priestess, energy, what deck do I want to use? I'm going to go over here to the old trusty dust. You know what? No. Let's go to the muse. We're going to go to another tarot deck. What does the high priestess want them to know? In order for you to be able to trust your intuition, you need to look at that imagery, okay? Look how they have the mother, the maiden, and the crone symbol here. But this is the three of cups. You have to be the main cup, okay? This is also about harnessing your energy, being sure that we are, whatever decision you're making, you're not making it out of emotion. You are moving forward, all right? Trust your intuition. Stop letting your feelings get the best of you. Okay, Libra. I Libra, que te pasa? You have a spirit guide coming in for you. This is reversed. So I'm going to go to the keepers of the light. I want to see who's showing up. This is something about materialism, making something be very grounded and come through and come forth. So let's see what the keepers of light have for you. Which one's it going to be? I'm going to use both of them. So I feel like Archangel Michael is coming through. Archangel Michael wants to clear this energy. He also wants you to work with your throat chakra. He wants you to start working with your root chakra. You could use sodalite. You could use um, lapis lazuli. There's something about harnessing this energy of cord cutting. All right. And then you have Bridget for inner strength. So I feel like move back to your wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. You have the power to initiate the change that you desire. And once you realize that, like once you go into your prayers and meditation at the beginning of the week, bam, two of cups, bam, four of wands. This is this is happiness. Like I don't want to I don't even want to clarify it. Um, this is basically you saying, look. I'm cutting cords with somebody who no longer wants to be with me, who is draining my energy, and I'm going to trust my heart that's on fire. I'm going to trust this energy, and I'm going to move back to my wholeness and my strength, and I'm going to realize who pours into me, and that's who I'm going to make my happy home with. Okay? That's interesting. Let's see. Do you want to clarify with this one? Yeah. You want to go with... The Illuminati Tarot. Tarot Illuminati, look at you. Princess of Pentacles coming through. You know what? You're done with a Sagittarius energy. You're done with that impatientness. 
pushing that shit to the side. What do I get with this? Like, <laughs> okay, this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like she's like, look, I'm the baddest. <laughs> she's like, I'm the baddest in this bitch, okay? I got this. I got an eye on what I want. I know my money. I know my mind. I got my home. I don't need anyone who is trying to take energy from me. And then you have the Princess of Wands standing here with her big ass wand talking about, I got this. All right. So I do feel like there's a lot of divine feminine around you. You might have some really good homies that are coming through for you this week. And I feel like you are really putting back into you. Right. Putting back into your home, putting back into what you have. Four of Wands at the end of the week is like a really big victory too. the chariot. Where are we going? <laughs> what are we doing, Libra? Like, shit, this is good. This is good energy. So when I'm looking at this, Archangel Michael is clearing your energy. Bridget is reminding you who the F you are. You are like, look, if this relationship's going to pop off, you might even have a fire sign who's going to be by your side. Now, the chariot coming through right under that nine of pentacles, you might be traveling on your own. Let me look at this card. What details pop out to me? The wand. His wand is popping out to me. More than anything. Look at that wand. Okay, can you see it? And then look at her wand. You're going to meet somebody who matches your magic. It's a victory. It's like there is a huge victory. Let's see what's here. Look, four wands again. So yeah, I think that you're just like meeting this situation. And think about this four of wands. These were statues that were buried underneath with the with the kings and the queens that were there to re to um, worship them in their death, right? These statues. But there is a reward coming for you, and the chariot is about you moving forward. I think you're gonna you're moving on, and the person who's coming in or the situation that's coming in for you is gonna be highly revered. <laughs> Eleven. Look, eleven and twenty-two. Divine, and then look, thirty-three. I kid you not. Eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three. Divine numbers. You're going to be seeing them all week. Okay. You might be seeing one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 or eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three. Now, eleven is the master number, right? Twenty-two is the master builder. Thirty-three is the master teacher. Now, I don't, I'm not looking at the images on the cards. I'm looking at the numbers because that's what's stepping out to me is because they came in that order. With the eleven coming over the two of cups, I do believe you're meeting a divine partner. Does not mean that they're your always and forever, but there's someone coming in your life that is coming in to enhance it man maybe they're into boots or whatever they shop a lot i don't know they're they're like four out of five stars okay <laughs> however that energy is very beautiful and divine coming through don't let me forget to do your finances what does this two of cups want them to know trust the divine plan trust that what you've been praying for is actually coming through trust that okay Let's see, what does the Four of Wands and Chariot want them to know? I'm going to grab, let's see. <laughs> Door to Romance is the number 33. I'm telling you, for some of y'all, 1133 is going to be important, okay? 1133, meaning like maybe that's a time or something of that essence. But the door to romance is coming open because you're you're actually letting something go. You're letting something leave you. Hey, okay, Princess of Wands. This is Venusian energy coming in. This is beautiful. Huh? El árbol y el valiente. You got to be brave about what you're doing. You got to be willing to cut a motherfucker off, okay? Cut, cut it off. Cut him off, right? And be strong and firm in what you had to say. See, sometimes we say things to people and we're like, well, I'm not going to deal with this energy anymore. And I'm not going to deal with that anymore. And then we turn around and guess what we do? We keep allowing it to happen. But Libra, I feel like you're not allowing this anymore. I want to pull. Let's see. I had pulled two. It's going with number eight. Look. Loyalty. Loyal hearts. <sighs> You're meeting your divine pair. You're meeting someone who's coming into your life 
to make things change. Take a take a chance. Jump off that cliff. Go for it. This is a good situation. I'm getting more love than anything else um, because of the two of cups. This could just be a divine partnership in business. If you want to think about it, you're establishing your business and it's a go like it's going and it's good. Let's look at your animal energy. Oh, it's about really handling um, your yin and your, I can't talk, your yin and your yang, okay? You want to you want to handle the divine feminine and masculine. You got to get into balance because you have the, the panda coming in. And anytime you have a black and white animal, it's about balancing the energies. And panda comes in to stay balanced in your essence. Stay true to who you are. Be who you are. And don't, don't allow someone to change that about you, okay? Let's look at your finances. The fool, go for it. Do it, baby. It's time to start over. It's a whole new world. I feel like you're really moving into something brand new. And I said jump off the cliff and go for it. And look, even financially, take that chance. Go for it. I feel like the doors of opportunity are just going to be opening for you. And good things are coming to you. Okay. Let's look at our beautiful energy for that of Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius, what happened? You was out putting your wand out everywhere, doing your thing. And now you're like, mm. I don't know what happened, but just okay. You got a trip coming up. You you feel complete, but then something comes out of nowhere with that moon reverse. So I do think that that full moon energy is going to reveal something to you. Okay, Ace of Wands, a false start. I'm gonna just go with this deck. Ace of Wands with the false start. Why is it a false start? Should this be upright? No. Well, you didn't do the traditional thing. Maybe you didn't act the way you're supposed to do. You're so unconventional, you Aquarius. Look at you. Your Aquarius is showing. <laughs> However, um, with that X with the keys, somebody is, oh, somebody's getting their keys back from the X or something like that. Um, there's also this energy of like maybe what you thought was going to pan out with a fire sign didn't pan out. Get very grounded and rooted this week, okay? What is this Ten of Pentacles about for them? Money's going to probably be good. Look, Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. You might be helping family. Family might be helping you out this week. But it's a very reciprocal energy. It's very kind energy. The moon. What does the moon want you to know? <laughs> King of Cups came out for almost everybody. Shit. Should he be upright? Man, what is going on with the King of Cups reverse for everybody? Anyways, um, King of Cups. I'm sorry. I'm, my nose is running. <laughs> <laughs> like falling apart. M. Heartburn's a hot mess. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I get more Cancer or Pisces here. But this energy is like we're taking our cup back. We don't want to deal with this energy. Um, somebody made an offer, or maybe you're just like, man, I thought I was putting my best foot forward in this relationship, and it just didn't happen. And I feel like you're going to get a revelation about why it didn't work out. I'm going to pull one more card for this. King of Cups, what do you want us to know? The Princess of Pentacles is coming in upright, and I feel like she's taking back her coin. And what's interesting is all of the red, okay? So maybe there's something with the color red for you this week. But this individual is very different from you. I want you to say they're very, very foreign looking. Now, what I am noticing is she's taking her part. Like, she's like, look, I, I bought this part. I'm going to take it. You can keep yours. Somebody is giving the keys back, and the other person is a little hostility about it, okay? What is the energy between the King of Cups? Okay, death. It's over. It's done. It's time to move on. There's a relationship, a situationship, and we just need to start over. Look, Ace of Wands over here upright. So at the beginning of the week, we're just trying to like figure things out. There could have been a divorce. There could have been something like that happening. There was a breakup or something. And then we're realizing family is important. We should really help each other out. And then there's a situation that you're in and it just didn't work out. And you know that it's time to move on. Okay, it's just time to move forward. Very interesting. Let's see. What does death want us to know? Be very flexible in how you move forward with this. Like, don't be so stuck in your energy. And with that egg that she's on, I'm going to say it might be a good week to do an egg clearing. Okay? Limpiate con un huevo, like they say. Okay? It's time to clear that energy. 
Let's look at this King of Cups over here. Why does this King of Cups look so boo-boo-ish? Like, what do we need to know about the King of Cups? Oh, El Gentrification. Oh, he's trying to make you into something that you're not. He's trying to make you be something they want you to be. Okay. So the King of Cups doesn't like it because you're not being who he wants you to be. Interesting. And let's look at the energy of the Princess of Pentacles. I feel like you need to invest in yourself. This might be about some independence, you know, taking everything that's yours and moving on. Look, he's got the whole world. You've been carrying everything on your back, and it's time for you to just understand that you are the world, and you deserve the world. And whoever wasn't giving you the attention that you desire, then they can just go sit on tack, okay? That comes to a 10. And there's a 10 here. So that's a double 10 in your read. For some of you, y'all are going to be looking for a new job. Some of y'all need to watch your finances because I got a triple 10 with this flexibility. Someone is stepping into your pockets. There's also talk about a trip. This could be a family trip. All right. Animal energy for you this week is the donkey. Let me see that donkey, donkey. Let me see your donkey. And I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> yes don't be an ass all right don't be an ass keep your heart open no matter what all right now this is the beast of burdens so I kind of feel like you've been carrying the world on your shoulders and you're just moving on you're just ready to move forward you don't want to deal with it show me about this ace okay ace of wands reverse with the hierophant reverse you need a break you just go rest go sleep on it that's your fourth 10 it's a 19 19 19 something could have happened on the 19th really big for you is like eye opening you need to meditate on it you need to pray about it and and then move forward okay so let's see what is this message here claim your art claim what's yours claim your stuff <laughs> she's like uh, i got my things and i'm going okay it was nice knowing you take care all right take care give me my keys back somebody's giving keys back this week all right did i get all your cards Oh, except for your finances. Finances, what do we got? Double death. <sighs> this is a week of transformation for you, Aquarius. See, in this, in the relationship, death had to come in and be like, look, enough. It's over. Ya basta, okay? And in their finances, there is something about maybe family money coming to you with that Ten of Pentacles and this coming in. I do think somebody might be receiving some family money or helping family. But be on the lookout for your finances to change. It's going to be rebirthed and revived. All right, guys. It is time for our signs. Hello, Earth signs. Are you ready for your re big baby? <laughs> you are also dealing with the fourth house. There must be a lot going on in homes right now. So your crystal is opal, huh? Opal is sometimes known as the queen of the gems. It's a stone of prophecy and a stone with conflicting attributes. The gift of foresight is not always welcome as it shines light on what is real and what is sometimes unnecessary. All right. So this has helped to resolve karma, enhance your vision. It's also great, great in magic work. Um, it increases our sensitivity to emotional states. And I apologize for sniffling. It's cold. <laughs> now, as far as healing, it's great for depression and self-esteem. It gives you physical insight. Um, also helps with sexual issues, fevers, and infections. Now, on a spiritual level, it's time to focus on love and emotions. Are you honoring yourself, seeing clearly, and listening to your heart? Now, with that being said, you have the Four of Roses akashically going on. And I want you to take notice that there's three people in this card, but only one person can see themselves in the mirror. You're dealing with somebody who has um, egotistical or narcissistic behaviors, not necessarily a narcissist, but they have like attributes of maybe gaslighting, withholding communication, making you feel like you're less of a person. And so what, what is necessary when this card comes out is to start looking at what's keeping you in this situation because you're trying to change someone who isn't really able to change. My battery's about to die. Awesome. I just started to read. I think something's wrong with this camera. Like, I've charged it for two hours. Anyways, I have to go get the charger. And we're dealing with Mani Pura. So this is that energy of... Um, Confidence, 
solar plexus energy really calling that in calling in on your abundance also because Lakshmi showed up so I do feel like some of y'all are really trying to harness the confidence to move forward yellow might be a wonderful color for you to wear this week and some of y'all are really thinking about your finances and you could be dealing with somebody who is taking advantage of you financially and Opal is wanting to come through and clear out that energy. So when we talk about the fourth house, the fourth house is the home, the family, the ancestors, relatives, anything in your home that needs your attention. And it's time to see what is really going on. It's time to have a vision of what it is you desire and what needs to change as you move forward. So let's get this general done. And then I'm about to go get my charger. One more shuffle. Oh, that's it. Okay, oh, they don't even want to go. Like, okay, let's cut this deck. Let's see what we have going on. We have an offer coming in. This is probably a very karmic offer. This is somebody coming in, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or this is just the energy of someone coming to make an offer that's going to complete a cycle. Now, I love to tell the story of this card, and the reason why I want to is because I feel for some you're receiving, like, um, a love of a lifetime coming in because this is what this feels like. This is my... Um, not twin flame, but like divine union, because this is the womb of Namu, okay? And, and this is how the world was created, according to Babylonian um, scriptures. Now, Anu is the sky god, also known as Uranus. And then we have Aruru, which is Gaia, which is Earth, right? And they were split in two when, because they loved each other so much. They had a child named Aleel. Aleel came through, split them up. They, she, fell to, she fell and became earth, and he stayed in heaven. He stayed in the skies. He is a sky god. Now around them is Tiamat, is the chaos dragon. When Marduk, Mars, came and killed Tiamat, the parts of Tiamat fell to earth to create the land. All right? So out of your chaos... Something wonderful is going to happen. And I feel like the energy that needs to come through and slay the dragon to slay this narcissistic behavior, or this like really asshole behavior, is like a reality check or a sign. Like you really need to check yourself. Are you allowing this person to keep engaging? Like what's going on? Okay. And we rolled a seven. Okay. Let's see. One, two, and three. Capricorn. Taurus. Virgo. Okay, four of cups reversed. So we are ready for something new and exciting. Again, that four, that number four. We think about the four pillars. Think about um, the four walls of a home. There's something new and different that we want in our homes. We want something to change. But in order for something to change, we've got to try something different. And that's what the four of cups reversed signifies. Now, it does not mean that it's going to be easy. Because I'm looking at this. There's something about, um, I wanted to say a move, but it's a nine and a seven. Anyways, you're, you're tired of fighting and you need your confidence in order to move forward. I'm going to apologize. Oh, no, there's two nines. There is a move. I have really bad heartburn, y'all, because I'm so stressed out because of everything that's going on. So I apologize if I'm like breathing heavy and you see me drinking a lot because... It's really, I'm, I'm like, my nerves are real bad. <laughs> now, there is a trip coming through for you to have confidence. The wheel is coming in. It's trying to bring new energy, energy of promise, energy of um, things coming through. Stop being so damn impatient. Allow things to happen. Because there is a completion coming through. There's something that needs to end. And it ends with the number 33, 2, 1, 3, okay? 21 and then 3, the 3 of swords. You are pulling yourself out of a situation that is killing you. It's hurting you. You're busting out of it and out of that chaos and out of that pain. You're going to create the home that you desire, okay? It's messages for some and not for all. Take what fits. So we have Capricorn. No, happy. Capricorn, Capricorn, are you interested in a Leo? What is going on? Anyways, this is about you having strength. You start off with the number 88 at the beginning of your read. You have the eight of pentacles right under that. Now, you have to have strength, but you don't want to learn new skills. So what the hell is up with you, all right? You have a lot of conflict going on here. You have things that are really tearing you up. You could be dealing with a fire sign or you're dealing with your passions, your emotions, but you don't want to change. And so that is the question. Why are you holding on so tightly to something that you want to change? Only you can answer that question. So 
We are going to clarify with the Illuminati Tarot. What does the Strength card want them to know? The Ten of Pentacles. You have to have strength to complete the story. You have to be complete. You want to complete something. And I feel like this is a family issue. There's dogs and kids and an older gentleman in the background. And you want to have like this perfect family and like all these things want to be perfect. But you don't want to change. Okay. You don't want to change something. Okay, the hangman's coming out, and then I have the king of swords looking at me. Should this be upright? No, it's reversed, but I want you to see something. You see how he's like, he does not, he's not showing his hands, but he's showing that he surrenders, right? But the hangman is reversed here. And the hangman reversed by this eight of pentacles is you're only stopping yourself, okay? If you're not willing to make these changes, you're being, look at this. You could be being very stubborn with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this could be a legal situation, but it's like you don't even want to contribute anymore. You're just like, look, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm tired of it. Ace of Cups reversed. And then there's a strength card right behind it. Okay. But in order for things to move, it's like you have to let the hangman do its job. And that is release, surrender, surrender and give in. Okay. Give in to the change. Because Capricorn... You don't want to change. You don't want to change. Why don't you want to change? What's going on? Patience, okay? You need more patience. And what's interesting is she has this beautiful gold coin there. It's a little pentacle. And it's a clack, okay? And let's see what time it's set at. 10, 10. 10, 10. 1, 1. 11. Have patience with yourself. Things aren't going to change overnight, but you have to be willing to make some sacrifices and surrender. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they're not going to budge either. They're just like, look, bro, this is the way it is. All right? There's a lot of conflict going on in this situation. A lot of conflict. I want to say for some it's inner, and for a lot it's in the home. There's the moon. Chicago. Chicago. I don't know who's vacuuming at this time, but okay. You're going to find out some information. The moon is reversed. I think Aquarius got this also. So the roosters are coming to play, Bobby Boucher. <laughs> I don't know. I love saying that. And I'm probably saying it all wrong. But anyways, the moon reverse coming out for you is like, baby, you better wait. There's some information coming in. Should this be upright? And, and it's a false start. Like you want to, okay, I almost want to feel like there's some Capricorns that want to pretend like everything is perfect, okay? Everything is good. My family's good. I'm good. I'm perfect. I don't need to change. It's you. It's all you. It's not me. But the truth of the matter is it's both of you. It's the whole damn situation. Because what needs to happen is something that's going to require a lot of patience. Let's see here. Deep knowing. You know something is, look, that for me, this is like um, Mercury retrograde for me. It's like things are lining up. Your ancestors are coming in to tell you things. You already know what needs to be done. You already know the planets are aligning. Pay attention to the full moon at the end of the week. You, there's something that's going to be revealed, okay? And it's going to be something about the family. I'm going to say don't be doing those shenanigans at the end of the week, Capricorn. You're going to get caught. Hey, man. Hey, DJ, keep playing that song all night. No, it's time to change the fucking record, okay? Girl, put the record on. Play my favorite song. <sighs> you need to change the record. You need to change that song in your head that you keep playing over and over and over. What does the moon want us to know? The moon had two cards come out. You need to kick them bad habits. La maceta. I feel like there's a situation, okay? There's a situation. I don't know why I'm shaking so bad. Um, probably because I'm cold. There's a situation. Someone needs to kick rocks. Someone needs to kick rocks. That's it. What are you holding on to? You have so many sevens. I have the seven on the dice. The 16 comes to a seven. 
Um, the 52 comes to a seven. Deep knowing comes to a seven. There's something about seven, seven, seven for you. And seven for me is significant to spirit guides really coming through and trying to tell you what needs to happen. But I feel like you're being very stubborn about this situation. And I do feel it's with an air sign, especially Aquarius. Now, Capricorn, when I'm looking at the strength card, the strength in the family, I feel like maybe you're trying to be the strength, but it just ain't working. Okay, it's just not working, boo-boo. It's not working. You already know what you need to do, but you don't want to do it. Oh, the turtle. Go back in your shell. Protect your home. Do what you got to do. The turtle energy for me, this always makes me feel like, dude, hey, you know, we're on Nemo. But I feel like you need to navigate your emotions a lot better than what you're doing. What you seem to do when things get hard is you go into your shell and you're like, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to change. Um, or you're dealing with somebody who's like that. Okay. But I feel like there's something about ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom, ancestors. There's also something about tapping into an older person who can help you. Because with the turtle and the owl coming out, I just kind of feel like that. And then it looks like father time over here or mother time. It is just a matter of time for you to realize that in order for something to change, it's like you, you, the truth has to come out and the truth has not been coming out for you. Okay. Let's, let me look at these numbers again. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think Capricorn, you had a rough week last week too. I think there's some big changes that need to come through for you. Live your life to the fullest. Why are you living in like, you're you're living like in boundaries, right? Like you're just like, okay, I don't want to do that because everyone's going to think this. I don't want to do that because everyone's going to think that. Nah, nah, nah. I'm Capricorn. I ain't going to do that. No, you know what you need to do. Do it. And who cares if they like it? I don't care. I say just do it. Ah, what is the advice from the turtle? Live life to the fullest, boo. Ace of emotions. This is like a Yemaye card for me. There's a lot of ocean energy here. Namu, Queen of Cups kind of vibe. It's time for you to really tap into your emotions. What do you truly desire? What do you want? What do you want, Capricorn? Because you're not living life. It feels like it feels like you're just existing, like you're just going through things. It's not it's not what you're really about. It's not who you really are, but you're just kind of like, "Okay, yeah. Well, everyone says I'm supposed to be this. I'm supposed to be the best dad. And if I'm the best dad, I'm going to stick around for the kids, but I'm going to fight with the mom every freaking day, and we're going to argue about finances because we can't seem to pull them together." Because what the is telling me now if if it's the other way around oh if I make this decision and I step out on the situation because I'm not happy anymore people are going to think I'm a bad person no because guess what everybody's going through transformations right now and it's important for you to be true to who you are Capricorn and I don't feel like you're being true to who you are so either you're this guy or you're the one around this guy supporting that view you have to figure out who you are Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's the sun. Make your financial decisions that you need to make. All right. And I want to say, like, you need to set your children up. You need to make sure your children are set up for success financially. Yes, start that savings. Yes, do what you got to do. Capricorn, you have to learn to put yourself first every once in a while. It's important. And you're not the only one who got that message. But if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I'm going to tell you by the end of the week, both of y'all got the moon reversed. Both of y'all shenanigans are coming to play. Okay? I think I got all your cards. Did I get them? Sorry, guys. I'm real cold. <laughs> I'm cold and I have a heartburn. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> now, I'm going to say, because you have the sun and Monty Pura coming in, check your digestion this week. Make sure you're digesting your food. Make sure you're digesting the words. Watch what you're digesting, okay? Watch what you're digesting. Watch what you're intaking, okay? All right. Tauro. Tauro, Tauro, Tauro. Taurus, this is actually a pretty damn good week for you so far. I'm going to say, like, wishes do come true. I feel like Venus is coming through for you. Uh-oh, my battery's about to die. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> we're back in business. <sighs> okay, wishes do come true. This is also the seven-pointed star, which is tied to Venus. So I do feel like Venus is really blessing you this week. It is exalted in Pisces. 
Now, she is also the goddess of L. So I'm going to say be careful drinking and maybe if you're offering um, things at the water for a certain deity, be sure that you're doing it. And again, yellow is going to be an important color for you. The Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like if you're thinking about finances, they're going to come into play, baby. It's going to be good. It's going to be good energy. And I'm sorry, my eye was looking weird. There is a trip. There's probably a dream vacation that you're thinking about taking and it's going to possibly happen. There's also a situation possibly with the Leo that you're just like tired of and it's coming to an end. Now, this is Pazuzu energy. Y'all know I love Pazuzu because he has the wing of a snake. <laughs> Anyways, and it represents Leo energy. So when I see this, I kind of feel like there's something that you need to protect this week. Make sure that you're protecting your work and protecting your finances, okay? Especially because Lakshmi's coming out for you. Or Lakshmi. All right, let's see. What do we have here for the star? What does the star want them to know this week? Four of Cups came out reversed. You are done being done. You are done being tired. You're like, damn it to hell. We're starting over. We're doing something new. And you have the Four of Cups reversed twice. And you have the views of the ego, which is a four. You have a triple four at the top. Somebody is doing the most. Okay? They're doing the most. Something new is coming in. Accept the new offer. It's a dream offer. And then I have this Princess of Swords that just flew up for the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like she is ready to attack. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but I also don't even really, I get what the seagulls coming up, like that's really interesting. And she has fish, some of y'all um, might have dreams about somebody getting pregnant, okay, so that might also happen. Now these seagulls are coming to her and she's like, I don't even want to hear what you got to say, like I don't, I'm going to cut you. Okay, so I feel like don't even listen to the gossip. Don't listen to what anybody's trying to tell you. Look, King of Wands came out reversed, especially from the King of Wands. Some of y'all might be dealing with an ex-husband, ex-lover, Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe there you have children with them. And you're just like, look, stop telling the kids what you're telling them. King of Wands, what's going on with you? Why are you showing up in their read? Look, Prince of Swords. So there's children with this individual. Um, and they're all cutting him off. Like, they're just like, bitch, we're tired of hearing it. And I'm not saying he's a bad guy or anything, but there's like some conflict within the family or something going on, okay? But the Nine of Pentacles is saying like it's going to work in your favor. There's also a vacation. Maybe he's being a jerk about the vacation. I don't know. I don't know your life, guys. <laughs> Ten of Wands, what do you have for them? I'm so cold. I'm going to turn this heat up. That's why. <laughs> Don't get impatient, my love bug, because <laughs> I'm telling you, Bobby Boucher, something's coming out, baby. Something is coming out. Stand your ground, all right? Because you're about to gather all their swords, all their information, and it's going down, okay? <laughs> It's going down. All right. Let's see what's going down. Let's look at this King of Wands situation. What do we need with this King of Wands situation? <sighs> It's a legal situation. It's a contract. Something coming through. Justice will be served. I feel like something that was needing to come out is going to come out. Ten of Wands with the Seven of Swords. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody is getting the book thrown at them because why? Because they deserve it. Oh, all right. And it's another four. <laughs> I feel like they're doing the most assists. Okay, they're doing the most assists. They're just being a little bit ridiculous for no reason. It's just really interesting. King of Wands. What do we... Figure shit out on your own, King of Wands. You are pulling too much energy from someone else. And they do not have to be Aries Leo Sag. This could just be an individual who you have children with. Or you have, like, this could even be an office situation where the boss is like, Yeah, yeah, we're not playing with this no more. And this contract is over. Live life in the present. Be happy. That dolphin communicate effectively what you want. With a lot of oceany energy coming in. It's very beautiful. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, my heartburn is bad. What is up with this king of sword? A king of wands. <sighs> Twenty-three comes down to a five. The web design. Um, I want to say a web of lies. They're going to get caught up in their own lies. 
Um, and instead of it catching you, it's going to catch them. I almost want to say that the kids are going to see through it or these other co-workers are going to see through it. And they're not going to get away with it. We have a full moon at the end of the week. It's going to come, it's going to come into play. Like they're going to see exactly what's going on. Nurture yourself first. Take care of yourself first. Make sure you're, you're honoring yourself. You're treating yourself right. And you're able to move forward. Let's look at your finances. Transformation. It's the death card. Death. Like my baby says, it's death. Now, I think Aquarius got this too. Aquarius got double death. So you might be dealing with an Aquarian. Anyways, financially, this is a transformation to your finances. This is also maybe what kind of changes do you need to make to get to the level that you want to become, okay? All right. Time to look at our beautiful Virgo, Virgo. Why are you helping everybody who's not helping you? Okay. And then you have an angel coming in that's like, I done told you, boo. I done told you three, four, five times. And you're still doing it. And we're dealing with an unruly energy here with the Queen of Wands reverse. And this is Aya. Okay. And she ain't got nothing to do with you. She Look at her face. This is some jealousy. This is some anger. We're going to pray for her. I'm going to pray for you, girl. Okay, what am I picking up from this? You need to trust your, your intuition about a situation. Start over, start fresh, move forward. If they're not helping you, you don't need to help them. All right? It's a it's a every man for themselves situation. Okay. Six of Pentacles. What you got for us? Boo-boo. Six of Pentacles. Send the sun reversed. Here we go. Now, remember, Capricorn has the sun. So the Capricorn might be coming to you for help. And it's a no. It's a no. Okay. Stop helping somebody. Now, you could also be helping a fire sign a lot. You know, Aries, Leo, Sag, possibly a Leo. But this situation of like, I want you to really pay attention that the sun is a mirror also. All right, that's a mirror. And remember, views of the ego, which was your Akashic card, that person is only can see themselves. So I feel like this individual who comes and asks for help can only see what, where it benefits them. They don't think that they're doing anything wrong. And it's time for you to leave a situation with the Six of Swords. Move to something better. Leave that third party, okay? All right. Now, we're going to go to the... I'm trying not to knock everything over, and my nose keeps running. <laughs> I'm, like, struggling, guys. Oh, my God. All right, let's see here. Woohoo! Let's see. I'm going to go with the St. Germain and the Violet Flame, okay? It's time for you to start praying the karma release. Move beyond the drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. That's what your spirit guide is kind of telling you. He's like, look. It's time to end this stuff. It's time to move forward. It's time for us to get things going where they need to go, right? Uh-oh, something's going on with my camera. There, it wasn't charging. <laughs> so we're going to move forward. We're going to take what we need to take, and we're going to go. I mean, she don't look very happy doing it. But, you know, this guy's like, look, guy, we, we got to go. Like, okay, Virgo. It's a very karmic situation here. Some of y'all are dealing with Capricorn, and it's just time to release it. It's just time to release and let go, and that could be something that you're doing with the full moon. Now, let's look at this energy with this Queen of Wands. Why is she being all stagnant energy and, and mean? Like, what's her deal? What's the problem? What's her deal? Yeah. Oh, she's mad about her money. Yeah. <laughs> ah, four Pentacles. Somebody is being a shysty. Look, you just need to pull your pentacles out. You need to pull your pentacles out of your ass, your panties out of your ass. <laughs> Anyways, look, what is yours is yours, and you don't need to be no part of a third party or third. You're not the third wheel. You're not this. You're not second best. You are the best. How about that? How about you're just the fucking best? You are the shit, okay? You're everything and a bag of chips. All right, what's going on here? Look, it's time to go. It's a 45. It comes down to a 9. There is no denying it is over. And no, this is not Mark McGrath. When it's over, can I still come over? Hell to the no. I don't even want you around anymore, okay? What's St. Germain want us to know? 
the goddess of the moon. Release it with the moon. Let it go. Let it be. Release. You know what? I'm going to give you an extra card, Virgo, because I'm probably going to have to put these all in separate videos because I do these reads way too damn long and they don't fit all on one. So let's see here. Goddess of the moon. What is your goddess this week? What is their goddess energy that's going to help with releasing the karma? What is it that they need to release this karma? Mm. I think it's Shakti. Yeah. Transformation. This is that Shakti, that Shekinaya energy, that beautiful transformative energy that says, look, enough is enough. We have got to change it. Listen to this. Okay. Sometimes people in situations come into your life as the kind of change agents that turn your life upside down. What you thought was real and expected is challenged by someone else's perspective or behavior, which you have no control over. This can be painful and deeply confusing, but the creator goddess Shakti wants to offer you guidance. Can you see how everything that is off balance is serving you now, helping to open old wounds, wounds so they can finally heal? You know you're seeking this change, this magical metamorphosis for a better life for you and your loved ones. Right now, your alignment task is to love that part of yourself that sabotages your efforts to move forward. Love the insecure you, the one that is jealous, the one that says it's that one that sees not enough when the world is truly full of potential. Life loves you. The feminine aspect of this universe, the great goddess herself, all your angels and your guides and helpers remind you that you came here as a spiritual being learning to co-create the world. Look, let it go. Let that person go. Let that situation go. You have such beautiful things coming to you. And it's a matter of saying, look, I don't want to be jealous anymore, but I'm going to recognize that I'm jealous that everybody else is happy and I'm not like, well, you know, just call it out. Be like, boo, I want to be happy too. Oh, okay. All right. Let's look at your finances before you um, send me some mean messages, you know. I don't know. Let's see. Financially, seven of pentacles. Look at your garden growing, okay? Make sure that you're investing in yourself. Look And look, she's looking at the goats. You're looking at the Capricorn. Let that Capricorn go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right? Because what? It's time to go. All right? All right. I'll be right back with fire. All right, beautiful fire signs. How are you doing? So your crystal is unakite. All right, look at that beautiful green color. This is three key materials of the stone combined to enhance its role in uncovering what holds us, dissolving the blocks and raising our self-esteem. Uconite helps open and clear the solar plexus chakra, which restores our emotion. Using con conjunction with pranayamic yogic breathing, it enables us to identify and release past traumas. So with this crystal, it also helps your anahata, freeing to live and more honestly and happily. Now, on a physical level, it helps with the circulatory system and the heart, and it um, aids in recuperation. Spiritually, it indicates that what is an underlining a situation will soon be revealed. Once the cause is recognized, release and healing will begin. Now, that is super interesting because the Seeds of Shakti card... Hold on, let me move this so I don't have like a big mess in a minute. The Seeds of Shakti card is Anahata. So I do believe that we're working with the color green this week. We're lots of lots of green. You're working with opening up your heart space again. During this, I'm going to say the full moon is going to have a huge effect on you, possibly releasing some things that need to be let go, um, whether it be that of a relationship, that of the way that you viewed life, things of that nature. But those things are going to have to be released. Um, there will be a lot of reflecting going on. Your psychic gifts could also be coming in a lot stronger during the full moon. This could also be about you thinking about traveling abroad, um, going overseas or going Going towards the ocean doing something near the water now since it comes down to the 19 19 is going to come down to our 10th house so fire signs we're dealing with the our career with the career <laughs> with your public persona um, you're also dealing with authority figures your occupation your leadership this could be you moving into roles of leadership you moving into a new position your career could be changing and you're reflecting or you're thinking how to change your career all right those things might be coming into play for you 
So this read is going to be for Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anything you want it to be, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Have the confidence to move forward. There's big transformations coming. Your spirit guide is definitely clearing the way. There's this energy, and this is with the cups, okay? So this is definitely with your heart. You're following your heart, fire sign, and that is good. It's good that you're following your heart. I think you've been afraid to trust your heart. Now you can trust it. Ah, I can't wait to do this full moon video. I might do it tonight. Woo, woo, cards are coming out like crazy. Okay, and that is it right there because they don't want to even go. Okay. We have Aries. Leo. Ooh, Sag. Aries. Leo. Sag. Aries. Leo. Sag. Whoa. So, Leo, when we get to your read, holy moly, free holies, okay? Wow. The angels have showed up for you, Leo. There are three angels in your read. Anyways, overall, we're going to see what is the leading force there. I think we're going to go with Kyle Gray. Yeah, okay. So, let's see what's going on here. I swear, every every week, fire signs, you have this water sign who's like, hey, remember me? Remember me, guys? And fire signs are like... Did anybody invite this person? <laughs> Anyways, trust your intuition because you are on fucking fire, fire sign. Ow, oh, you got this. Now, there is a situation, a very karmic situation coming through for you. You could be meeting a soulmate. Love is being offered to you. Come and knock on my door. We got the two of cups for you. This is a partnership. However, it's not moving as fast as you want because I feel like, okay, for some of you fire signs, you're so used to like when somebody is into you they're like all into you and they like go all the way in and they want to sleep with you immediately they're calling you all the time things like that but this is not working out that way it's kind of like slowing it down it's really saying like hey take your time okay you don't have to decide something overnight and some of y'all want to go back to your old ways and you really need to stop okay so we have a spirit guide coming out for you. This is the carob of arrows. Now, the carob of arrows is that of air, air energy. Air is ruling the situation, communication. But we have to do it very kindly, okay? That deer that's on there is telling you we've got to communicate kindly. That's something I'm working on, okay? I don't really say things the nicest. I'm trying. Okay, let's see. Rada, soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. <sighs> this energy here, I know I use her a lot in love spells and things of that nature, but I feel like in this situation, I want to say be, be who you are, fire sign. Be who you are. Honor your essence. Don't change. Don't, don't stop being quirky. Don't stop being you. Just be who you are. And then I have Ganesh looking at me. You don't know I got to pull Ganesh out because that's my boo. All right. Ganesh. Yeah. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. I also feel like Ganesh is trying to help with communication, blocks and, and relationships, blocks and career. But part of it is following your calling. All right. Follow who you are, fire sign. Okay. Aries. Aries, you start off this week feeling like shit. <laughs> okay, it's just like, damn, could it get any worse? We don't ask that because guess what happens? It does get worse. However, you know you need to start something new. You're going to initiate it. You're going to go for it. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. Okay, so the fire, the wand, the initiation of action is surrounded by all this air energy. Remember, you have a spirit guide that's telling you things are being removed, but you got to be true to who you are. Trust who you are. What ignites you? What brings that passion out for you, Aries? Because it is it's hurting you. Whatever it is, it's hurting you, but it's, it's going to help you. Okay, now what's interesting is usually I go to like my other decks, but for some reason, fire signs, you guys got the, um, the muse tarot. So what's up with the five of swords? Five of swords is a seven of inspirations. Why, why are you closing yourself off from the world? I feel like you're, you're trying to hide. You're trying not, you're no, you don't want everyone to see your pain. 
Um, your heart is broken. Anahata is trying to come through for you. Let the light in. That will initiate that Ace of Wands to happen, okay? Oh, sorry. My nuggets are cooking for my baby. <laughs> now... You have the nine of inspiration, the nine of wands coming through. And look how she's dressed in that orange color. Orange is that of the sacral, okay? So we're trying to initiate something with the sacral. We're trying to be creative. We're trying to move forward. I also feel like in this, it's like, don't be afraid to stand out in a crowd. I mean, look at this beautiful picture. Like she's just standing there and, and it's just like, when I'm looking at this, look. Seven of Wands to the Nine of Wands. You're inspired. You're changing. You're doing something different. All right? It has to be a change in the behavior. Now, this Three of Swords coming through for you at the end of the week. What do we got here? Another Seven. Okay. And the Four of Inspiration. So, I want to say that somebody is trying to fool you from your house. I know, it sounds crazy. Somebody's trying to fool you about your house, fool you about your plan, okay? Now, look at this foxy spirit, okay? It's the seven of wands, seven of voices, seven of swords, right? Now, I feel that there's this energy around you. Look at the orange, the color orange, that is trying to tell you that someone is setting you up for, like, you see how it's like mirror image? Like, this is the darkness. They're showing you, they're showing you this aspect, and this is really you. It's like, if I could fold my card, it would be exactly the mirror image. They're trying to, look how angry that is. Somebody is very angry, okay? Or maybe you're showing, maybe you're showing like this, like everything is okay, but you're really angry. Or you're dealing with somebody who's saying, it's okay, but they're like, how am I going to fuck you up, you know? No, well, that's not evil. And the four of wands makes me think of something in your home. So that's really interesting. I feel like maybe some of y'all are trying to get some things repaired in your home. Maybe you're dealing with a family issue in the home. But the key is midweek, you pick up your Ace of Wands, you initiate your change, and you stand out. And the hell with this person trying to rain on your damn parade. I'm going to check my nuggets in a minute, y'all. My baby was hungry. Seven of Voices. Okay, El Coachella. <sighs> I want to say this person is trying to uh, look how he has flowers in his hands, um, but he's like uh, a warrior, right? And it's a four again in the home. Someone's going to bring you flowers to the home. Someone's going to do something this week and it's going to look like it's nice, an act of being nice. But they have, what do they say? Tienen intenciones. They have ulterior motives in this situation, okay? Ace of Wands, what's going on? There needs to be healing. That we need to call on healing to come through for you. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen. The healer of the ages is coming in. You, However you want to view that, I feel like this energy is coming in to try to heal the situation. And it's right over. Look, I'm, I'm seeing that you're going to be guided. Some of y'all do candle magic or something. You're going to be reading your candles or doing something. And you're going to see through this false behavior that someone's showing. Orange and yellow candles this week, okay? Now, I want to see what Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords. <sighs> this is what I'm feeling. Five of Swords. Broken heart. Okay? Five of Swords is it's pierced your heart. It's a nine. It's over. Like, you feel like it's over. You, you're, you're done fighting for something. You're done with the situation. It's time to move forward, right? But it's like such a rough situation for you. Okay, let's pull from here. What do we have? Serendipity. Perfect timing. There's a double nine. Somebody's worried about moving, moving on, moving away, moving out. But I'm telling you, March... March 18th, March 9th, March 19th is sticking out in my head. Green, we're lots of green for your heart chakra. Your heart is broken, my friend. Hmm. Animal energy, what do we have here? Everything's going to work out. It's perfect timing, okay? Look, 
Archangel Raphael with the monkey energy. So being playful, playing around, having fun. You need this energy. You're calling on Archangel Raphael to come in. Look at all this green coming in for you. It's important to heal that heart. And not to mention your heart is pierced. Okay, so the monkey is also about be careful about the way that you say things because you might be trying to be funny and someone mistakes it. Um, monkey energy is also very flirtatious energy. It's also fun and loving and very inner child, but I feel like you need to be nurtured. And so Aries, if you're able to hug someone, anyone this week, get your hugs in. Okay, get your hugs and snugs in, get your loving in, however you want to look at that, because that energy energy is telling you how to experience all life has to offer the good the bad the ugly right but it doesn't mean you have to do it alone okay let's see here Aries um, refine your attention it's time for you to focus on what it is you know like focus on what you desire focus on what you want to see what is this big change that you want to see um, the seven of voices is bothering me that fox is like I feel like that's their energy just fucking nasty ass energy just fucking, I don't like it I don't like it seven six seven stop obsessing and look it's orange you are not the fucking center of the universe this person acts like they're the fucking center of the universe that it's all about them that it's only them you know and the truth of the matter is they're being a jerk and they want everything for them and not for you. And Aries, you're not having it. You're not there for it, right? You're like, nope, not going to happen. We're not playing this game. Mm -mm. Okay. Let me look at your finances this week. Finances. I'm going to use both of them. Look, the King of Cups, you have like a, a male energy who wants to bring in something with a contract. The Ace of Pentacles, the most promising in the deck with the Ace of Swords. Materialization, once we pull in the action, this is fire in this, in this deck. It's like the Ace of Wands. So it's cutting through. And the reason why they say the sword is fire in this deck is because the fire makes the sword. Now... I feel like it's about you really harnessing your creative energy to make that money happen. It's coming in. There's also something about a contract coming in with these two aces. All right. It's a new beginning. Good things are coming. If we can get past this little sneaky snake over here, this foxy energy. Okay. This energy of everything is great. I'm your friend. And they're not. Okay, that is Aries, and I will be right back for Leo. Okay, Leo. Leo, this read is going to be really intense for you. This may not be a love read, but you are definitely pulling into some psychic powers, and you're really tapping into divine energy. The reason why I say that is because you have Ganesh and Radha with the spirit guide at the beginning of the deck. And then you have 19 with the reflection and that is your spiritual gifts coming in. Here is the Ace of Cups. You've been asking for something. You've been asking for love. You've been asking for gifts and it's coming. And then you have these two spirit guides. One that is over your love and one that is over action. One that is over words. You've almost got all four of them in that there's only four. So I feel like this is a very divine situation coming into play for you i feel like good things are coming in the matter of the the thing is to take your time to discern the energy all right ace of cups the ten of pentacles <laughs> the ten of roses look at the unity look at all those people coming together to celebrate you you're you're really stepping there's a big offer coming in this week whether it's love whether it's in finances and it could be in work because in career because remember the number the 10th house and so we're dealing with this energy and it's a very positive energy flow so before i started the read i had to ask if these wanted to be used and so i'm going to go to the carob of cups to see what spiritual energy is coming in look it's div the divine director this is definitely something with career intervention and purpose uh, divine intervention is occurring know that you're being guided to happiness being your purpose and i kind of feel like with this energy of the divine director hold on, I'm going to give you everything on the Divine Director. I don't really work with these cards that much, so give me a moment. <laughs> Divine Director. If I could find it. Okay, I'm the Divine Director. I was like, why isn't he just popping out? Because I have notes in some of these, so. Okay, here it is. 
Right now, your angels are reminding you of divine purpose. Some of y'all have been calling, like, what is my purpose? What am, should I be doing spiritual work? What's going on? And yes, you should. We are here to elevate humanity, okay? Light workers are here to elevate. But just like we have to learn the light, we have to learn the dark. You have to understand both of them. Now, this is taking place at the time because you're a learning curve to your soul. Know that your career can complement your purpose, but not define it. I do feel like there's a big sudden change in your career and something great is coming. Coming into play so let's ask the divine director what do you need to know whoa my, my hands are getting excited hands are getting excited should it be all of them no okay the high priestess you already know what you need to do look how she has that eye what's in my hand i got some I got some makeup on my hand what is that <laughs> i'm like whoa it's like the same symbol look very similar. I did not do that on purpose, okay? It's probably like my lash glue or something. Yeah, I keep it real, whatever. So I feel like what's really interesting is like she is able to see with her with her intuition. There's also something about look at the runes around her. Pay attention to the signs, the symbols that are coming through. I feel like everything is being orchestrated for you to move into the situation that you need to be in. Like it's a very euphoric vibe going on. Now let's see here with this energy of the carob of wands the carob of wands is saint germain and the violet flame okay so let's see is that it oh, that's not it is it is it it is it it okay uh, okay making sure so we're releasing karma we're changing the game we're changing our narrative we're moving forward so if there's anyone who's needing to release during the full moon work with the violet flame I am the violet flame, okay? And it's a prayer that you say, and it's moving you to the next direction. It's moving you to something. The Merkaba is in the back. The Merkaba's energy is there to teach you that you can propel yourself. You can travel in dimensional times and change things, okay? I know it sounds crazy. Anyways, I'm not crazy, I promise. This is why sometimes I just stick to the cards. <laughs> Because I will be taking you on a wild goose chase. However, some of y'all are going to be called into leadership. You're going to be called into being a director. Okay? There's others of y'all who are very much clearing your love life. Look at this. The tower. It's over. Whatever was holding you back is completely out of the way. You have changed your ways. You are moving on and you're ready to make the change. And that is beautiful. I want you to look at the tower, right? Okay, so here's the tower. And you're just like falling into the right place at the right time. Okay, sorry, it's like this. Everything is drawn to you. You've broken away from the bullshit. You're standing on solid ground because you've cleared the karmic energy that's around you and you're ready to move forward. Give me some more for the tower. You have two majors in your read with the Ace of Cups. It's like the gods and goddesses are offering to you your divine cup, the thing you've been asking for. Are you going to take it, Leo? Look, the nine of materials, there's more money coming in too. Look, and the cosmos, the world. This is a good week for you, Leo. You have good energy coming in. It's going to depend on how much you listen to your spirit guides, okay? You have to really pay attention to what they're saying. High Priestess, what do you have for us? Release the anxiety. Trust Trust the situation. Trust what's going on. Some of y'all are definitely got a big move going for you. You're moving up. You're moving on. But when we're moving, we're afraid. We're afraid to let go of what we know or the ways that we've always been, right? It's just part of life. That's just how we are. We don't like a lot of change. It makes me nervous. We're fixed signs. We like everything to be the same. Tower energy. What do you have for us? What is this tower energy for us? A seven. Okay. We're blessed. Never stressed. <laughs> it is a blessing in disguise. And what's so interesting is the 22 is showing up here. And then the 22 is showing up on the side with the yin and the yang. And I'm going to see that um, for some, the 22nd is going to be huge for you. There's going to be 722 sticks out for me and 922. And I know that's far ahead, but I'm going to tell you big things are coming during that time. Okay. And I do think that you are really moving into a better financial situation, Leo. Things are about to start growing for you. Things are adding up. You're breaking away from things that no longer serve you and you're trusting your intuition. Oh my gosh, this food is starting to smell really good. <laughs> 
getting hungry. <laughs> now, let's look. I don't even want to. Um, let's look at the anxiety. Let's look at the anxiety, right? Oh, Lord Jesus. What is this anxiety about? Why are you crying, Leo? Why are you crying about something? Why are you crying? Your heart. It's your heart. You need to communicate from your heart. You're afraid. You're afraid to tell people how you feel. For me, this is a giant heart. Okay, the pear. This says L non-GMO. Stop being fake. Okay, be the fruity person you are. Be that. Be that sunshine. Be the sunshine. Be. Be who you need to be. Okay, but you are blessed in this situation. There are positive things coming for you. And I know you wanted probably more of a love read, but this is more of a spiritual guide read. And if you've been working with your spirit guides and you have been doing the work, this is the week that everything is going to show up for you. Things are going to fall into place for you. Let's look at your animal energy. Very beautiful. I don't even, I'm like trying to like not ruin the read because I don't want to mess it up for you. Look, you got the badger. So when I see the badger, it says bring life into balance because black and white animals bring things into balance. And the badger, you're a bad bitch, baby. You're bad. You're the baddest. <laughs> but this is also about ley lines. There are certain places that you need to go to go harness this energy. Okay, you need to go there. Don't be afraid to move. Don't be afraid to go. And I feel like there's going to be someone there to comfort you along the way. Like you're going to meet somebody because you are very divinely blessed this week. Do not be afraid. The 22nd is going to be a big day for you. I just, I, I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, let's see here. Imagine solutions. Stop thinking about the problem. Move forward. You got this. You got this. Okay, let's look at your finances this week. Let's look at your finances, Leo. <laughs> the three of staffs. There's some contracts that are going to be signed. Some of you are getting new work opportunities. I know you want to know about love. I know you do. But with the Ace of Cups and all these spirit guides around, you better accept what's coming to the forefront, whether it's a job, whether it's love, or whether it's a hug and snug from a stranger. Just go for it, okay? Because there's good things coming for you with the Ace of Cups by that ton of pentacles. But there's contracts. There's conversations about you. There's meetings about you. It's going to be prosperous. Some of you are signing contracts this week, and things are just moving into to progression the three of staffs is this three of swords right but this is not a sad situation the emperor's in control you are in control leo all right i'm gonna have to jump into beautiful sagittarius all right my sexy sagittarius what do we got going on so remember at the beginning of the read in the general you had the 10th house show up so there's some things in career going on your public persona your reputation and you had ganesh and radha coming through a lot of obstacles being removed and you trusting your intuition now I have a father-son situation, a boss-employee situation. Something's going on. We're not liking it. Sag, I don't know what's going on, but it's rough, okay? The king of swords, we don't want to talk about it. We're just like, you know what? I told you what to do. You didn't do it, and I'm done. This person's just talking mad shit. Oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? But we're, we're hung up on something. We're hung up. We don't know what to do. We're like, well, should I do this? Should I not do this? I don't really see how this is going to come into play. Now, should I clarify with this one? I didn't feel it for you. So I was using um, a certain deck to clarify for the other ones, but it's not for you. So I'm going to go to the Illuminati. Um, Illuminati Tarot. Okay. King of Swords coming through reverse for me can also be a legal situation that's not going in your favor. But I feel like this is more like a father-son. Look, we need a break. It's the Four of Swords. We just need a break. We need to heal. It's been so stressful. And look, I have Temperance reversed. This is you. You feel like off your... Um, off your game for some reason. I'm going to say be very careful expressing yourself verbally. Take a step back. Be careful if you're drinking. Okay, if you're drinking, you might express yourself in the wrong way. It might come off a little bit standoffish. The Prince of Arrows coming in is coming. Okay, Alchemist and the Five of Pentacles. Hmm, these look like totally different decks right here. It's like really odd. But they're the same. <sighs> okay, someone is trying to manipulate the situation. I do feel like it's a younger energy. It's someone who's trying to move really, really fast. And 
So I feel like they're like looking over stuff and they're like, man, I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it my way. And they're like ready to go. Now you have temperance with the 14, which comes to a five and the five of pentacles. There's a lot of change coming to you. I'm going to say it's going to be important at the beginning of the week to sleep. Okay. Now it's under the full moon. So I feel like setting your intentions for whatever hurt you in the past to be released for the full moon. Now, let's look at this high priestess situ high priestess, the hangman. What does the hangman have for them? Oh, you done met your match, Bobby Boucher. I just like saying Bobby Boucher. I don't know why. What's wrong with me today? Three of Cups, the Four of Cups. Okay. So what's interesting is I have the number 33, tw one, two, three, actually, with the Queen of Cups. So you might have met a very intuitive person, or this is you trusting your intuition, and she's kind of holding that cup back. Like, she's like, I don't know if I want to engage too much with the shenanigans that are going on over there. Like, I'm going to just stay over here and look pretty and do my thing. I don't know about the sacrifice that they're doing. I mean, they got like a whole bunch of action going on over there. Everyone's like, party over here. And the Queen of Cups is like, I'm going to party over here. <laughs> like, you party over there, I'm going to party over here. So I kind of want to see what that's about. Out. let's look at the situation between the king and the prince king and the prince what do we need to know about this what's going on with allele oh victory i think you're gonna pull this one out okay you're gonna pull this one out i want to see on the 28th okay anyway there's a victory for you like yeah you're gonna make it you're gonna win because this person's a conniving jerk okay because this little guy right here is just like fucking acting oh gosh number 33 again okay El Tinder. It could have been somebody's playing games with you online. It could be like you met somebody through a dating app and they're not giving you as much attention as you would like. You don't know how to read them. But there, there's something going on there in this situation. And I feel like maybe you're also having a victory, okay, because I have the 28 and the 33, a victory over this individual maybe that they were talking to someone else they're not talking to them it's a very interesting energy but they have the phone in their hand i do think it's going to be a key thing if this person is sending text messages emails anything of that nature make copies screenshot them bitches okay because we don't find out three of cups what you got for me El nail art okay get ready because you got a celebration to go to there's something that you're going to be celebrating and you want to take the queen of cups okay you're like i like that queen of cups queen of cups could be cancer scorpio pisces or any woman or man or energy that is very intuitive okay because she is on it I'm trying to see what else i pick up from this a lot of mermaid energy also so just to let you know about that. Oh, just looking at the nails. There's a bell with things on there and then a moon. Bell moon. Bell mead. I don't know. So anyways, I'm going to tell you, check your notifications, pay attention to it. And it's going to be something in their hand that gives them away. Okay. They're going to, they're going to show their hand or they're going to show something. Look at this. They both have hands. Okay. And they got something in their hand. And I feel like this person is very sneaky. It's going to be in their hand and you're going to catch them. And then you're going to go out and celebrate with the queen of cups. It's going to be on and popping. <laughs> So let's see how we end the end of how we round off the end of the okay. Let me shuffle. <laughs> You're gonna find your tribe. You're gonna communicate. You're gonna find the people you need to celebrate with, and you're gonna be a part of a team. It's it's this energy of like you find where you fit in. There's also this energy of the mother totem coming in because of the giraffe in this card, and she's there, there's going to be a reconciliation for some, some with their kids. There's also somebody calling in a soulmate because of the parrots in the card. And there's bags being packed. So I do think there's something about a trip. Eight is also infinite possibilities, communication, travel. We're talking about traveling. We want to convince this, this person to go on a trip with us because we got rid of all the bullshit with the other people because you saw what was in somebody's hand and you have the upper hand, okay? You have the upper hand. Now, let's see what's going on with this damn Prince of Swords reversed. I want to say they're an Aquarius, but, you know, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm poor Aquarius. I'm like throwing them under the bus for everything. I don't mean to. 
Shame, regret, guilt, those are just BS. Forgive and let that go. So I do feel like this person is very vindictive. Maybe, maybe you're holding on to something that needs to be released and you're holding on just a little bit too tightly, Sag. And the best way to move through this is to celebrate what's coming into your life and release what's not working, what didn't work. Because remember, you're working with your heart chakra. You're working with that Unakite energy, the Anahata. We're trying to open our heart up. Wear lots of green this week. You're falling in love, boo. I know you don't want to. I feel like you're just like a little, I don't know if I should do this or not. Now, I do want to ask this Queen of Cups what she wants you to know. Let's ask the Queen of Cups. What does the Queen of Cups have for Sag this week? The Magician and the Mirror. They're definitely intuitive. And there's that eight again. 53 and eight. Here it is. Sag. You have been hurt in the past, okay? Whether this is a friendship or a relationship, you've been hurt in the past. Um, there's some stuff tied up between maybe online dating. There's some stuff tied up about finding something in somebody's hands and their emails, something like that. But by the end of the week, you are ready to communicate with this eight. She's ready to communicate or you're ready to communicate. They're ready to communicate. They are also a very magical person, okay? And I feel like there's something with the infinity sign. There's something with fire and ice going on also. It's a very cool feeling. And I feel like it's been like... Your magic is working again. You're finding your magic by the end of the week. You're finding your magic again. And it's beautiful, Sag. You've been a little bit off. You needed to heal. But the part of the healing that needs to happen is the deep release that's going to happen with that full moon. And then you just fall right into the beautiful essence of who you are. It's really beautiful. Way to go, Sag. I don't know how we're going to pull that read out. Be decisive, okay? This is your wake-up call. Wake up call. Be decisive. I'm telling you, some of y'all are going to meet somebody online this week, okay? Or you met somebody online. All right. Let's see. What's your finances going to be like, boo-boo? <sighs> the king of swords. Look at this. This is you because this is really fire sign in this deck this is wands in this deck because the wands uh, the fire makes the sword so i feel like you are owning your finances you are taking control some of y'all might have cut your children off for something or your kids or a co-worker or somebody who kept taking advantage of you you're like look yo I, this is my money okay and i'm gonna handle my business some of you are going to be getting some financial information some court information and it's going to be in your favor okay it doesn't feel like it at the beginning of the week by the end of the week you got it together 88 is also a number to pay attention to congratulations in your new relationship because i feel like that's coming in and i'm gonna say your magic is back Saggy, your magic is back all right that is your read i'm going to jump on over to watch your signs Hello, water signs. I hope you're doing super, super fantabulous and great. We're going to go ahead and jump into your read. You have that of Jasper as your crystal. Hold on. This thing is crooked. There we go. Hold on right there. Okay. Hold on for one more thing. Jasper is your crystal, okay? The energy of Jasper, Jasper is subtle and d deeply felt, okay? It gives us time to draw breath and see the bigger picture. Nurturing yourself and any projects in mind brings in determination. The healing energy is to unify and calm. It's also good for the Mani Pura and Sacral. Now, on a healing level, it suggests that Jasper is useful for the circulatory system and imbalances with digestion and reproductive system. Now, spiritually, this indicates there's a need to quiet for quiet, clear determination and thought. Think of an issue of concern. Are you looking in the long term or merely trying to satisfy things at the present level? So you have the light of the world, card number 10 coming in for you um, in the Akashic Records. And when, what I'm really feeling with this is like, look. And there's that kitty cat, you know, like you're focusing on little things, but you need to be focusing on what's knocking at your door. And literally, some of you are focusing on the kitty cat and not what's knocking at your door. You're focusing on what's going to please you instantaneously as opposed to going out and finding something that will do something more for you. Not that the cat isn't great or anything. However, the cat is a symbolization of... um 
What is the word? Um, I had it in my head. It's not identification. I was going to say with being an individual, standing up for yourself, being a little bit more picky. But there's an opportunity that's coming to you. It's going to knock on your door. And it comes down to the 10th house, right? Because of the 10 on top. So Leo also got this. Not Leo, but Fire Signs also got this. So there is something coming through with your persona, your public reputation, your career. Things of that nature is coming to the forefront. Now, when I pulled your Seeds of Shakti, this was the first card that came out. It made me think of the Maiden the mother and the crone the full moon is going to be very important for you and then Kali also came out and it's just time to really clear out some negative energy and it's, it's not about being all super nice about it either this is about getting shit done you need to get shit done water sign so endings create space for rebirth it's time to end something completely end it so that this energy can come through and bring some positive energy flow okay there's some transformation that needs to take place and you don't want it to take place, but it's going to happen. I'm just going to let you know. Okay, that's it. I'm going to cut the deck. King of Pentacles with the wheel. Big wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. And she's rolling. Woo! Rolling. You're rolling, boo. You're rolling on out with the King of Pentacles. Someone's getting a raise. Somebody's getting a job. Somebody's getting something. And it's going to be good. Let's see. Give it a couple of shuffles. I'm excited for you. I haven't even gotten to your reads. I hope they're good. I always like say really good things at the beginning and then it's like bum bum bum. Proud Mary, keep on burning. Ow! And she's rolling. Nope, we're rolling. I feel like this is it because I didn't want to go. Okay. Cancer. Scorpio and Pisces. I almost said Taurus. It's time for me to go to bed. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Offers, offers are coming in. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so we have the Emperor. So I do feel like the boss or like a fiery energy is coming through. It's complete. Whatever it is, it's coming to an end. Trust your intuition as you move forward. Communication is going to be important. There is an offer coming to you because I'm going to say with these two princes in the read surrounding the five of cups like this, for some of y'all, someone lied to you. And I, and I feel like this is more for Scorpio, right? Because of that Scorpio in it. But I feel like someone's lied to you and you feel like it's over. Over. Like you feel like, oh, heartbroken. Some of you had a fire sign really piss you off. But it's going to get better because it looks great in your read. Now, this Princess of Cups is coming in, and I feel for some, this is an offer, you know? Like, remember someone's knocking on your door. Are you going to answer it? I don't know. There's something with the color blue. She's all blue. Callie's blue. Collie's blue. So I do feel like we're really working with our throat chakra. We really need to speak up. We need to share what we want, what we desire, and what we need. Oh, yes, big baby. We need to share. So let's see what we got going on. We got the Four Pentacles. Yes, we are talking about stability we want things to be balanced we want things to be fair okay but information is going to be coming out cancer okay something's coming out and you do not like it and it's a double seven so i do feel like there's some deception going on with this because there's some financial issues coming in there's also a situation that you want to just go away or you want it to change hmm. it's gonna take you to speak up okay read is over <laughs> Let's see what this Princess of Cups has for you. Four of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. It's going to take a lot of work. I'm going to say financial work is going to be really important for you all. So that's what the Princess is trying to tell you. And I also feel for some of y'all, you need to make sure that you're taking care of home instead of someone else's home. Okay. Four of Pentacles. What is the Four of Pentacles? You got the Four of Pentacles twice. Interesting. The Queen of Swords. Okay, let's see what the Queen of Swords has for you. Should she be upright? No, we're done with the Queen of Swords. We need to cut that shit out. This is either you not communicating or dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's getting on your damn nerves. This person is a little bitter, could be a widow or divorcee, and they're just getting in the way. They're not pulling their own weight, and they're watching you live your best life, and there's something about the home, and we need to really cut that conversation out. Like, I feel like their conversation is old and tired, and with those Eight of Swords going into her, I, look, it's a storm. It's a storm cloud, and then the Eight of Swords are coming in. So I feel like you need to protect your home from this energy, okay? 
Seven of Swords, what's going on? Hi, look at you. Always giving your heart away. Oh my God. <laughs> Queen of Cups, there's gossip about you at work, okay? Could be with a Libra. There's Libra energy, but look, look, just like look. You're always giving your heart. You're always trying to help. And then I have this, like, I said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this, this gem, the energy right here. And justice just needs to happen. Like, we just really need to get to the point of the matter. Like, look, I can't help you if you don't help yourself. That's how I feel about that situation. I don't know how you feel. Seven of Pentacles. What do we have? The Ten of Swords. It's hard for you to deal with this shit. It's hard for you to speak your mind. It's hard for you to tell people what you're feeling. That has to change because it's affecting your home. It's affecting your finances and it's affecting your work because you're so busy dealing with this invasive energy that wants to come in and bother you at your home that you can't really focus on on what you really have going on. Queen of Swords, what's up? Queen of Swords, what's up? What's up, Queen of Swords? <sighs> I think it's this one. Yeah. This person wants to always be at your doorstep, okay? Ringing your bell, notifying you, calling you about 50,000 times, asking you for help. Ring, 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 bing, bing, bing. Hi, remember me? Hi. No, I don't want to remember you. I want to fucking move on. I want to just do my own thing. Leave me alone. That's the vibe I get with that, Cancer. It's a very invasive vibe. Community. They need some resources. They need new friends. They need to move on, okay? I feel like you're just tired of, like, supporting this energy all the time. But here you go. You 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 get the information. Look, it's a triple seven. <laughs> seven with the community. Seven of swords. Seven of pentacles. It's a situation that's not going to change until you realize that you keep putting your heart out on the line. And they keep reaping the benefits, okay? They keep getting benefits out of you being so kind, and it's kind of at this point to where cancer can't nobody get mad, but you at yourself for this. Yeah, the Queen of Swords is getting on your damn dirty nerves, but you keep allowing it. Turn her notifications off. Turn her, put her on silence. Put her on silence. Put her on silence because you don't need to hear from her no more. Okay. You could be happy, but you got to take back the keys to your house. The keys, you got to make your home happy. They keep invading your home. They keep talking about a home. Baby, you got your home. You be happy with your home. This seven of pentacles is like, and it says inertia at the bottom of the card. So I feel like you're just spinning your wheels. Like maybe you tell this person, oh, you really should do this. And you really should do that. Um, Excuse me, I'm not interested in that. I don't want to do that anymore. And then this individual keeps coming in with more and more and more. I notice that she has a blue dress on. The Queen of Cups has a blue dress on. The Princess of Cups has blue. And Kali has blue. It's time for you to wear blue. It's time to use your throat chakra. And it's time to speak up. Because if you do not speak up, the Ten of Swords is coming. Okay? And that is like some, some tomfoolery. It's like they say. <sighs> Ten of Swords. I just feel like they're going to screw you over. Like, such a screwed over situation. They're fucking with your money. Okay? Point blank periods. Fucking with your money. Cancer. Stop being a pushover. Go offer roses to your daddy. They want it. Okay? Look, and I have La Campana again. Turn off their notifications. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what they need. I don't care what they want. I don't care who they are. You can't keep working like this. You can't. They've taken away from your home twice with the four of pentacles. The, the three of pentacles, they get in the way of you working. They're always contacting you. They don't leave you alone. They don't leave you alone. You're, you're done. You're done. Okay? It's finished. It's over. It's done. Cancer, I feel like in this situation... Something to release on this full moon. Make sure that you have roses, either pink or red, and offer them to the moon or to the moon goddess, whoever you worship or whatever you, not worship, whoever you work with. Sorry. Didn't mean to offend anybody. But yeah, this is a situation of like, you just need to get, stop letting them have access to you. Okay. I think we've had this conversation before. Raise your vibration because they lower it, okay? So this is what... 
sometimes we want to blame the vampire energy, the vampire energy that comes in. They, they use your resources. They use your time, your energy, um, your happiness, your joy, your home. That's going right back to the home. Um, and they keep coming in and doing it. But then you have to ask yourself, Cancer, why do they keep doing it? Because you allow it. Turn their notifications off. Look, Mother Mary wants to work with you. That's why the rose is coming out. Mother Mary is trying to heal this relationship. She's trying to give you power and strength. It's the ladybird. Mother Mary is tied to the ladybug, okay? The mantle. Back in the um, Middle Ages, there was crops that were being eaten up in Europe. And so the farmers all got together and they prayed to the Virgin Mary. And guess what? In the morning, they woke up and there were ladybugs eating all the aphids. So accept your happiness and good fortune. Good things are coming your way. But you have to, and I'm, I'm going to stop saying you have to, okay? It would be very imperative to your happiness if you stop dealing with this draining queen of swords energy and start being the queen of cups, trusting your intuition and turning their notifications off. They can't talk to you if they can't get a hold of you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Finances, what's going on? What's going on with the financials? It's your money. It's your money. No one else's. Your money's. Money's. And for some reason, $777 is coming into my mind. It's your money. Keep it. Stop giving it away. Stop letting this person explain to you why they need your money and why they need this. Well, bitch, go get a job. How about that? You know, I'm sorry. I'm being hateful. Okay, look, Cancer. Someone keeps asking for money. They keep asking for your energy, your time, whatever you're making, whatever you're doing. And you know what? If they're not willing to pay the price, then they don't need it. And if they're not willing to contribute, then they don't need it. Because this energy is so damn draining. And I feel like they're always calling you. Gosh. Sorry. Sorry, Cancer. I don't mean to be rude. I don't like it. <sighs> it's dark and you can't see an effing thing. Get your head out of your ass fast. Stop being a pushover. Okay? There's one thing with being nice, you know, and I'm all for being nice. It's good to be nice. But when you're being taken advantage of, like I feel that it's happening for you, it, it is just too much. And this person, if they don't, if they can't get to you through a phone call, then they're going to text you. If they can't get you through a text, they're going to get in your DM or they're going to email you or they're going to Facebook messenger you. And it's just like son of a bitch. It's, the energy is foul. Sorry. Give it to Kali. Get rid of it. Ask Mother Mary to help in this situation. I also really think about the mother, the maiden, and the crone when I see this. You know what energies you work with. You need to call on them because this is this is exhausting. Scorpio. Let's move to Scorpio. So Scorpio, you have an offer coming in. You're not over something. It's the Four of Swords reverse. You might be still healing from something, but this is like maybe you're working too hard. You're doing too much. You've kind of given your power and control over. You have to make a decision. You want to make a decision. And then the King of Wands is telling you, come on, baby, light my fire. Anyways, what I see here is you're possibly dealing with an Aries. Aries energy comes in very strong with this, with the Two of Wands going into the King of Wands. I feel like X marks the spot. If you have an X that's trying to come back, I don't know if it's really going to work out the way that you want to. Or maybe you're trying to work it out with an X. Four of Swords. What's going on here? Four of Swords. Let's see. Two of Cups, Five of Wands. You're heartbroken about something you had, oh, maybe you didn't have a lot of control in it, right? Because it's the ending of a partnership and it was outside influence with the five of wands. So you're just still trying to get over it. There's a line in the picture. It could be about a Leo. It could be about a fire sign. I really think it's a fire sign. But the two of cups is the ending of a partnership. But you kind of like gave your control away. But I want to focus on this five of wands energy because that five of wands is like they kind of knew they were starting some shit like <laughs> like sneaky stuff and let's see here let's see who it is who can it be now
it was a very impulsive decision that you made. Somebody left very abruptly, maybe. Um, 50, not 50 cents, okay? <laughs> you can find me in the club. No, I'm just playing. Um, no club. This is about really trying to go 50-50 on it, and they didn't. And they're packed up and they're leaving. But it's the end of a partnership. With that two of wands reversed, I almost feel like the fire sign made that, yeah, the fire sign made that decision. <sighs> you got a lot of fire in your read. It's the, the king of wands is reversed. Okay, so I feel like maybe you feel like overpowered by the middle of the week, but then you find your power, okay? And I want to say if you're dealing with an earth sign, you're going to tell them to get out. You're going to tell them that you're done. There's something really odd about that energy because the king and the queen of pentacles keep trying to come out. Strength reversed. All right. Are you strong enough to say goodbye? You're finding your strength midweek to move forward. Like I said, lots of fiery energy. So I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign. But this is like a situation that like you're not over it. It really hurt your feelings. And they didn't meet you halfway. You know, it ruined your family. Your family's not happy. You're not happy. You thought about making a family. It's really interesting. Give me some more. Healer of the ages. Yeah, it's time for healing. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to um, move forward. Okay, and then that makes you feel like you can follow your passions again. Like you can share your magic stick with somebody. Look, <laughs> I called it El Diablo. <laughs> You're ready to do it again and again and again and again and again. He's probably an Aries. Okay, I'm just showing you just the Emperor Reverse. Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to say be careful because this fire sign really struck up an accord with you. You have the devil with the three of wands. I feel like you're playing with fire this week. Uh, just be very careful if you're, if you're, okay. Scorpio, if you are in a committed relationship, this is not the week to step out on your family or step out in a relationship. You know, I'm going to say something. Like, I remember when my mother passed away. And um, my dad and I were having a conversation and we were talking because we had a really great life growing up. And I remember him leaning over and he said, you know why I never cheated on your mom? And I was like, because you loved her, you know, because he, he adored her. And he said that and because I could never look you guys in the eye and know that I ruined the family. And then so I don't know who's thinking about stepping out um, and going to a third party. But it will not end well. It will not end well for you because it's going to be seen. It's going to be caught. Um, and I do feel like, you know, take control of those passions. Take control of those things. Get over these cycles or these, um, these things that are keeping you bound up when you don't have to be, okay? You can have some success. I don't know what the hell my neighbors are doing, but they're so freaking loud. I swear to God, they're going to come through the roof. Anyways, oh my god. Pray for me to move, guys. I got till May. Number five. Look at that. No place like home, and there's the 50. Okay. It's a 50-50 relationship, meaning you have to put your part and they have to put their part. And in order for you to feel passionate about the relationship is they have to really put you just like you're putting them. And so this might not be the situation to like go out and give attention to someone who's like rubbing your magic stick the right way. But this is about looking and diving deep into what are you longing for? Physical attraction. That's always nice physical satisfaction or real understanding are you looking for the intimacy what are you looking for Scorpio because you can get yourself into a lot of trouble this week I'm just saying you can get into a lot of trouble so let's see what this king of wands wants you to know king of wands oh that devil is looking at me again okay he's a little little freak nasty <laughs> look I'm not playing with you okay Get it under control, Scorpio. Get it under control. You need to be a lady. To be a lady this time, okay? To treat her like a lady or you need to be treated like a lady. You might have two people that you're seeing. One treats you like the, 
the freak in the sheets and the other one treats you like the lady on the streets okay now the the thing is scorpio for you to be fully satisfied you would like both go with the one that you can be fun have fun with but treats you with the respect that's needed because you're torn you're like i don't know who to pick i don't know what to do and for others i'm going to tell you focus on your home okay because there's no place like home there's no place like home go home scorpio Go home. Look, stay away from this energy right here. It could have happened on the 16th of February. Something's going on. <sighs> stay away from them red hot pants, okay? Because it leads to a third party situation. And remember, there's just no place like home. Go home. I don't know who that's for. But it's time to go home, okay? It's time to pay attention to that energy. Love yourself. Love yourself. Treat yourself kind. Do what you got to do. Animal energy this week. The kangaroo. Balance. The kangaroo has four toes and it's to help them balance when they're jumping and when they're going for the big things. But this is also tied to the Lumerian crystal. This is about you really finding joy in your home because they keep their joey right here in their pocket and their little tum tum. Keep your family first, Scorpio. Okay. Okay, let's look at your finances. I'm going to stop preaching because I'm not a good preacher. The Empress. So you're being very creative. You want to do something new. But this is about really paying attention to how you're presenting your finances. All right. Yeah, look at all that cornucopia of abundance down there. That's super good. Okay, finances are going to be good. Good, good, good. Okay. Pisces, what's going on, Pisces? You are being impulsive over a fire sign, and it's a false start. Things are just not moving in the right direction if that's what you're going after. I have temperance reversed. I feel like you're being a little, um, not shady, but like hasty. Like you want it now. You want something right now. And the universe is saying no. Okay? For some of y'all, I'm going to say be very careful with your lower back. I know crazy but watch your lower back okay Pisces um this is also about you paying attention to your stomach um watching what you eat and what you drink but it's a false start if you were trying to start something it's it's just not working I feel like you wanted the tree before you had the seed what the hell is that supposed to mean you want the cow and you want it for free I don't know it's some weird energy going on there so let's let's clarify that Temperance. What's going on with temperance reverse? The tree of life. I just kind of feel like you just want too much right now. And not, not that that's a bad thing. It's Sagittarius energy. Might be about travel. Maybe you want to travel right now. You want things immediately. Okay. The Hierophant. Double 55 coming through. That's really interesting. So there's like a lot of change coming in for you at the beginning of the week. Big things are changing. Should this be upright? But you want to do things your way. You want it your way and your way only. <laughs> so the Hierophant here, what I kind of feel is like maybe you've tried to contact somebody, reach out to them. You're trying to be very creative in the way that you're communicating, but it's not working. There's something about May 14th coming in for you too. And May 10th. Um, the energy around this is, it's really interesting though, because the sun is saying no. The sun reverse is like, no, we're not going to do this. The sun is Leo energy, okay? What the hell? Are all these cards coming out. So I have the magician coming in. Should this be upright? So... Interesting enough, the magician is reversed, but what's at, what's on the card is the word will. Your willpower is down. You weren't willing to put in the work, or they weren't willing to put in the work to keep their promise. There's something going on there, and there's something with 519. I'm telling you, 519 is going to be a very important day for you. May 19th. However, right now, it's just not popping off the way you want it. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Be careful where you put your money. Possibly with a fire sign, you just feel like you were hurt. You're hurt by them, okay? I feel like they're not coming through like you want them to. Should it be upright? See, I have an Aries Leo Sag energy here, and you're just like hurt about it. And honestly, so are they. But 
it's not as bad as the pain that you think it is. It, it's really... May is going to is going to be much better for you. Taurus season is going to be much better for you. But for right now, it's just not working in your favor. And it's it's annoying you like it is really making you angry. Let's see here. Hierophant, what do you have for them? What is this double 55? Double 55. The moon. The moon. And it comes down to another five. It's a triple five. Big things are changing. Pay attention to what you want to manifest with the moon. What you want to call in. La luna te tada. They're bringing you energy, okay? And you're working with your heart chakra. Work with the color green. You're working with that. It's time for you to focus on that. And I feel like you want to grow something, but you're not putting the work in or they're not putting the work in. Something's going on where someone's not putting the same initiative in as the other person. So let's look at the sun and the magician reversed. The inability to conjure up what you want. The inability to shine at the moment, okay? Even though it was promised to you. I feel like it's this. It's the indecision. You're like stuck at a crossroads. You're like, look, I really want to do this, but I want that. And I don't know what to do. And I'm kind of stuck. And so because you're unable to make the decision that needs to be made, nothing is moving. Nothing is going the way that you want it to go. And it feels like you're being left in heartbreak. Okay. Now, if this is not your situation, it's not your situation. All right. It's so simple. May 19th. Write it down. The sun. The fidget spinner, 32 again, 23, 32, that is um, the, the moon and the stars over the sun. You're only showing half of yourself. You're not showing your whole heart. Makes you very nervous when you're around this fiery energy because you feel like they see through you. You're like nervous. You're fidgeting. You're kind of spinning around because you're not able to make this decision. But you're making lots of promises or they're making lots of promises. But nothing is moving. And then there's this impulsive Sagittarius energy. This fiery energy that's like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. Fuck it, I'm going to do it. I'm not. And it's just like it keeps going and going. Knight of Wands. La selfie. So maybe you used to send a lot of pictures of yourself to them or they would send a lot of pictures to you. Um, and you think that maybe sending a picture of yourself is going to like bring them back. It's not. They're over it. Or you're over it. Three of swords. What's going on? Why do we keep hurting ourselves? Why do we keep signing up for this? Take a effing trip. Go see some stuff. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. You need to get up. You need to get out. You need to go do something. Some of y'all want to go take a trip to go see somebody, right? Like you want to go see them. You want this energy to come through, but you're only talking to them from half of your heart. You're not giving them your entire heart. And that's the problem, Pisces. You're afraid to move forward. It's that indecision. You don't have to make the decision right now. Some of y'all are waiting to your birthday to make it because you're hoping they're going to contact you on your birthday. Come on. Three, one. Are you going to send them a picture on your birthdays? It's just really intense. Lots of fives coming in for you. So there's like a lot of change coming in. There's just a lot of change. Let's see here. Okay. So this is really interesting because you've got the chaos and conflict, right? I see your true colors shining through. That's what I feel like. I feel like somebody was perpetrating. Either it's you or them. These reads go both ways. Because look, it was a zebra the whole time trying to act like a giraffe. Okay, it was a situation that looked one way, but it's really the other. And I feel like that's what's leaving you at this indecision. Like... <laughs> You're just like, I know I need to do something and I don't know what. And some of y'all are probably at 32. Some of y'all were very nervous about something, right? Because the sun is right there at 32. And now you're conflicted at 33. You're like, oh my God, I'm about to be 33. Or, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening another year and I'm still in the same situation. So you have to ask yourself, what needs to change? What needs to change for you to be out of that situation? And it's speaking from your heart. 
So be decisive and a wake up call. Those just came out for someone else. I don't even remember who. I think it was um, an earth sign. Anyways, in this situation, it's a false start this week. It's okay. Just wipe the slate clean. Be kind to yourself. Don't, don't beat up on yourself this week. But it's time for you to start working on the changes and speaking from your heart. You have the sheep act with fortitude and cooperation. This is Gabriel and hope. But this is also about understanding like the lion and the lamb, right? So I do feel like there's a lot of uh, Leo energy. There's a lot of fiery energy. And there's also about being vulnerable. Like it's time to be vulnerable. It's time to allow yourself to be seen. And, and you know, if you're an emotional person, you're an emotional person. The person that you want to share your, your life with or the day with or whatever, um, they don't see that in you. They see you completely different. And so if you really want this situation to work out, it's about being vulnerable. The queen of the countess of staffs is the queen of swords. You need to be a little cutthroat with your finances this month. Okay, pay attention to the books. Pay attention to your checkbook. Don't allow people to come and ask you for stuff like money and financial assistance to make sure your stuff is covered before you help others. Okay, because I see the five of pentacles. Some of y'all are either getting out of a sticky situation or you're about to get into it if you keep helping the people that come and ask you for help. All right. And I think that is it. So with that being said, I hope you guys had a great time today. I'm sorry if your read was not super happy all the time. However, Pisces, make your decision. This is your wake up call. All right. Don't be afraid of the heartache because it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. If you take a chance, take a chance. Go for it. What do you got to lose? All right, have a beautiful, beautiful week and stay tuned for the full moon in Virgo read coming this week. Also, don't forget to leave it in the comments um, if y'all are interested in reading, not readings, but um, spiritual chats on this channel where we talk about what to do after a tarot read, what to do during, what to do before, clearings, cleansing, candles, things of that nature. All right, let me know.